first card, yes? No calculators, correct. No, what? You're still on the homework if I calculate. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? You're like, you need to calculate. On your homework? Yeah. We're about to take a quiz. Why do we need to quiz? All right, so um, here's the deal. I gave it some thought. Friday's 37 minutes. The, the next class, uh, what we're supposed to do is, I need more than, I need about 37 minutes to teach you which means I can't give you a quiz and a class at the same time. So let's see, should I pick, skip the quiz, quiz or skip the class? So I will skip the class. Which means we still take a quiz, but that's the one thing we'll do today. On a rare occasion, you will not have homework over the weekend. Yay! 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 There are, there's about 25 <laughs> minutes left. Yeah, close the door, please. There's about 25 minutes left. I, I can't entertain some questions before I hand you the quiz. Uh, E-learners, if you're live right now, your quiz is already online. Go ahead and take that. I will not be teaching uh, the class today. We'll just pick it up tomorrow. So the only thing you have to do, E-learners, is simply take your Monday. All you have to do is uh, simply take your quiz. All right, do you guys have any questions? Uh, yes. Can you if you're talking? I'm not going to have one line. It's just going to be straight up. Here's the triangle. Here's your calculator. What you say? But I will say to answer your question, it's a square. Remember, all sides are the same. An area would be take one of the sides and square it. When you attach a square to a right triangle, one of the sides, then that side squared is the area of that square. Does that make sense? Yes, Amy. Well, then I'll talk for five minutes. You got five minutes to either copy someone's resource card or make one from scratch. Yes. Can we get our test back? Have I handed your test back? That is because <clears throat> someone in this class has still not finished their test. I'm okay. trying not to look at that person. I'm trying not to make them feel uncomfortable. Do they feel uncomfortable? I can't look at them. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I still have one person. I mean, if you if you have not yet looked at your results, I mean, they are, they are in the grade book. If you were to bet what grade J Scott, then the grade would be an A. So I don't think you have too much to worry about here. All right. Yes. Is there going to be the same like if there's a long? No. I said no, but I will put uh, perfect squares and non-perfect squares. So let's do one. Give me a number. Non-perfect square. Ten. What is the square root of 10? Squeeze it. Four and nine. That didn't work. Nine and 16. Okay. Square root of nine is? Square root of 16 is? If it's directly in the middle, then the answer is going to be 3.5 if it's in the middle. So how do you figure out if it's the middle? You ask yourself, how far is this away from nine? How far is 10 away from 16? These numbers right here are not the decimals. They're just to give you a feeling for how close you are. Clearly, we are closer to what numbers? And are we sort of close or are we really close? And those are the only words I'm going to use to describe it. Really close, one off, right? Or are we kind of close, two, three, four off? We're only one off, so what's your guess? What? No, oh. 3.4 would be that. If that was a 5 and that was a 6, 3.4 would be your guess. Well, remember, these numbers don't mean the decimal. They're just how close they are to the other numbers. So if they are perfectly even, 5 and 5, the answer would be 3.5. And I shouldn't use 5. Let's use another 7 and 7. If there were 7 off from each one, then the answer would be 3.5. But if one's just a little bit smaller, 3.4. What's the answer now? If you're just a little bit bigger than half, 
Uh uh. That would be the six. That would be the seven. Oh, okay. Half would be seven and seven. It would be three point six. Now those are just made up numbers there. Now let's use the real numbers one and six. So you're almost to nine. So your your answer should be or I said you had to be within two tenths. Uh, anybody calculate your square root of 10? Uh, 3 .1. Is it 3.1? So 3.1 is the correct answer. And remember, even that's an approximation. The answer is not 3.1. It's just close. Okay. But um, your guess has to be within two tenths. Does anybody not feel comfortable with that process? Occasionally, the kid that's just slightly paying attention, they think that these numbers are the decimal. They're not. You're just trying to figure out where am I in relationship to these other two numbers. Okay. All right, anybody else? Are we okay? Yeah. I'm going to uh, accept it when I get the quizzes. All right, uh, there will be three things on the test. There will be what's the square root of a perfect square? What's the square root of 121? Should be a box one. Okay, there will be this square root of 10, square root of non perfect square. And then there will be a couple of Pythagorean theorem questions. All right, hey. I know I talked a lot about Pythagorean triples. Just because the side links are three, four, five, doesn't make it a, a triangle, right? Five has to be the hypotenuse for it to be three, four, five. Wait, is the, biggest number the biggest number is always the hypotenuse. Be careful, that's the only hint I will give you, okay? Uh, put all the calculators away. Kai, we gotta work so on confused. listening. You said we can use it now. We can't use it. I can stop the recording and play back exactly what I said. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. No, do it. I said. Just do it. You said you told me, Mr. C, I could use the calculator on the homework, and I said yes, I did say that. Not the quiz. All right. I'm so confused. Here's an easy one. Put your calculator away, and then you have to worry about it. Okay, no calculators on the test, or quiz, sorry. You can start as soon as you get this. You can start as soon as you get this. I'm gonna call it, and you weren't listening either, were you? Okay. I said I would collect it when we're done with the, with the uh, quiz. I don't think I have the one that has the record. Not in there, but you can buy rechargeable batteries for that. I have the PIE4 that just has that built in battery that's rechargeable. For that very reason, that tire triple H battery is always good. What can I use? No. Okay. 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 There's no calculator on the test. Okay. You're going to give me an aneurysm, okay? <laughs> All right, e learners, all we're doing is taking the quiz. You guys have a good weekend. I will see you on Monday, Donovan. Oh, Monday. 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 Donovan, okay, good luck on the quiz.